Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome to the final episode of my playing series where I've been playing through the best tanks of each nation. And the final nation that we're going to be playing today is Japan. So let's find out exactly what are the best Japanese tanks, tier 6 plus regular vehicles, so we're not just playing premium tanks, on the European server in the last 30 days. And wow, who would have thought? It's the OI at tier 6. This is one of the original derp lords of World of Tanks. The OI, when it first went into the game, was just the predator of mid-tier. The vehicle has a choice of two competitive guns, one 150 and one 105 mm caliber gun, and both of them are competitive. I'd say the 105 is probably the better one now. The 150, however, was amazing with the high explosive rounds, but I know that all of you probably want to see me play around with the derp gun on YouTube, so let's give that a go anyway and see exactly how it goes. So the OI, it was it used to actually be better inside the game. I think Wargaming nerfed its rear armor because the OI, it was kind of like really good from the rear, really good from the front, but its side profile was horrible. And then Wargaming decided ah, it was too good, so let's nerf it, nerf it the tanks behind. And so the, the behind on this tank isn't even that good. Wow, this is a spicy matchup. Look at this. We're playing in an OI on Province, which is a map which is only limited to tier 7 and below. But it's actually going to be incredibly tricky for us because we're a very slow tank. Our top speed limit is like 20 kilometers an hour on this vehicle. With the turbo, we're going to be probably going up to about 24 or something. I don't really want to just push my way from north to south on this map, so I feel like I'm going to have to try and cross and go and take the fight to the enemy team. Alternatively, what I guess I could do on this map is kind of just sit in base and try and like derp across the map, but that could be awkward. So I'm using vents, a gun rammer, and a turbo on this tank that's going to give me the most possible firepower and mobility for close quarters combat scenarios. But with a derpy gun like this, you might want to actually end up taking something like an accuracy device so you can actually try and make your shots count. But, oh well, I've committed now. And whoa, this vehicle's actually a little bit faster than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we're actually going fairly quickly right now. So the armor piercing, is, uh, armor piercing rounds on this vehicle are actually pretty good. They've got 121 millimeters of pen, and these are not gold rounds. These are regular rounds. So I'm just hoping that this Type 58 is going to make a bit of a mistake. We're now in the new update, 1.19.1. So there's a lot of players who are playing these vehicles, these new Chinese tanks. Well, not the new ones. The Type 58 is nothing new. But these vehicles to try and get the new Chinese tanks. Okay, okay, here we go. Come on, big moment here. Oh! <laughs> That's how I want to start my video today. With practically a one shot on that Type 58. Well, sorry, bud. Why didn't you subscribe to Quickie Baby over the last couple of months and you would have grinded your Type 58 in preparation for the patch day today? Not trying to get that last little bit of experience. You needed 56,000 saved up. I've got it. Raring to go on my main account. I'm going to be streaming all day uh, on the release day. But I think I'm actually going to release this video after the release day. It's currently Tuesday and I'm meant to be taking some time off. But I decided to try and get ahead with my, my YouTube scheduling and my time off. Is that even counting as time off when you do that? I don't know. Well, at least it means that I'll be a little bit more sane on the days where I'm meant to be streaming, right? But yeah, no, I'm fully prepared, raring to go. Really looking forward to the new Chinese rocket tanks. I don't think that they're going to be amazing, but still should be hilarious. And also, on my main account, it's just really nice to have something to grind. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've been doing a lot of grinding on my free-to-play account. However, obviously, when I play my free-to-play account, this is quite risky uh, for me here. But even more risky for him. <laughs> what am I doing to all these Chinese tanks? Oh, Japan has no mercy for these Chinese heavies. But, as I was saying, um, oh, no, no thank you, Mr. Gorilla. Um, as I was saying, I'll get there in the end. Um, I am fully prepared for the, uh, the new Chinese heavy tanks. It's going to be quite nice to have something to grind on my main account. As I said, I was doing a lot of grinding on my free-to-play account, but I'm not going to play stock on my main account. I'm going to have all of the advantages. I'm going to have premium consumables. I'm going to have all of the crew. It's going to be, um, a good old time. And it's always a celebration. For for someone like me who has every single vehicle, new tech trees are just wonderful. And I tell you what, the new tech trees are what kind of really got me into World of Tanks in the first place. Oh, am I really going to do this? There's no way. Oh my lord, I'm 
filthy. Look at those shots. All armor-piercing rounds. These aren't gold rounds I've been firing here. Just regular AP rounds. And that's what's nice about this tank. It's got better armor-piercing rounds than the KV-2. Although the KV-2 does have nice gold. Um, but really, the high-explosive rounds on this vehicle are worse than the KV-2. I believe they've got worse alpha damage. And I definitely know they've got worse penetration than the KV-2. And so the OI, kind of like the free-to-play derpy tank. You can overmatch, especially in a matchup like this. But um, look... For every time you get into a nice matchup like you see me here, you know, you get against those tier 7s and you get against those tier 8s and suddenly everything feels really awful and not very fun at all. Talk about not very fun. Doesn't look like the enemy team are having a good time in this game. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the IKV anymore. But you know what? My job's done. I got two kills. I got 1,700, nearly 1,800 damage. Oh, I just coming through. Maybe there'll be a T67 I can be able to pick up. I wonder if I should switch out to a high explosive round. Probably not. I think I can one-shot the uh, T-67 even with an armor-piercing round, and the HE isn't really going to provide any benefit. 700 alpha damage is 700 alpha damage, and I got spotted. You know what that means? That means there's a T-67 sitting in some of the bushes around here, and I just got to figure out which one it is. Oh, this is going to be a tasty treat at the end of the game. I think he's got like about 460 hit points, as far as I can remember, on a T-67. He's called Silent Do. Well, Silent Do, I'm not... I, I hope you truly stay silent here, and maybe I'm not going to find you. I've been playing a lot of Sekiro off, 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 offline in my days off the last few days. And then Sekiro is one of those kind of games where you've got to be a little bit sneaky at times, but also, you know, the action gets going. And it looks like the T-67 is probably sitting over there. I'm basically going through using the minimap to see where the edge is, and there he is. Oh, why is he behind the rock for me? No! I wanted him. Reverse. Reverse for me. I want the juicy T-67. I'm going to have to chance it. <laughs> oh, good old OI. Let's go, boys and girls. Playing the best tanks of Japan. And we got a good start. All right. So that was the best Japanese heavy. Why don't we play the best Japanese medium now? And woo! It's the STB-1. You do not have to ask me twice to play the STB-1. This is a fabulous medium tank that can pretty much do everything inside the game. I recently third marked the STB-1. Um, let's just have, take a quick look at that result. So we finished second on damage with three kills and third on experience. It's not bad. I'm not going to be playing much, so I might as well boost even though I don't know, need the XP. So yeah, I recently uh, three marked the STB-1 and it was probably one of my favorite kind of grinds. Honestly, it was super easy. I got myself a Bond uh, gun rammer and Bond vents on this vehicle. Uh, and I got myself some fancy uh, consumables as well. For my second build on this tank, I'm going to be taking an exhaust with a vision system. And that can allow you to do some real funky spotting. Because this thing's camera rating is not half bad. It's not as good as other medium tanks like the Udes. And it's definitely not a light tank within that regard. Oh, wow. Mines? Oh... This is a real risky map for this tank, let me tell you, because oh, there's a Bat Chat, there's a CS-63, there's a TVP. I really have to contest the hill. If I don't contest the hill, then not much is going to not much is going to happen. My Amex 13105 says take the hill. Take the hill! Okay, we're going to put it in capitals. Maybe that will help out. But the STB-1, unfortunately, it doesn't have the best of top speeds. So it's actually going to be quite awkward to see if we can manage to get up on the hill here. Uh, the safe play would be to go and, like, sit over there. But it's such a, a low-impact play. Uh, really, taking the hill is almost mandatory uh, on mines. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and help this bat chat, make sure I don't block him here. Um, I'm not going to drive up if there's a load of heavies, like E-100s, aiming at me if they get a good spawn. But I will go up. Where are you? Oh my god, the CS-63 didn't go up. And now I maybe can see why. I'm not going up for that. Alright, this is going to turn into one of those clown games, let me tell you. I can see why the CS-63 didn't go up. But really, all that's happened is we've just lost the battle in the first few seconds because the CS-63 didn't commit. I think if the CS-63 had committed, he would have probably been able to catch out the TVP. Um, uh, the Chieftain's going over towards the east. And you know what? I'm going to have to play just a very long-winded game. This is going to be a super long-winded chill fest. That's what we're going to do here. Super long-winded chill fest. So I'm just going to go sit in this bush, wait for some mistakes, and somehow get spotted. So I guess that I hit the TVP maybe or hit somebody. Wow, I'm really surprised that I got spotted and they didn't from that situation. 
Maybe there's a, a bat chat or some kind of an MX-13105 doing sneaky things in the bushes. Usually you'll be able to spot the medium tanks along here. We are at a huge disadvantage. Whenever a team doesn't take the hill, oh, it's just it's just not really going to work out. All that we can do is hope that our team proxy spot and that their medium tanks get greedy. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to prepare my shells. I'm going to aim low because you can see where the edge of the ridge is. And I'm just going to hope that mistakes are going to be made. Just like that. But I'm going to wait, try and see if I can proxy spot him. Okay, let's pull back. We bounce a 13105 once. I'm not going to come around the corner because he's an autoloader. But I also want to retake the position. It was very weird, the spotting there. I didn't get spotted for so long and then suddenly I did. Looks like remaining stationary in this bush is very important. So I'm just going to keep here and I'm going to keep chilling and doing this thing. And unfortunately, the 13105 actually managed to come around the corner there and get a spot on me. So well played. He got a little bit of a revenge shot on me. But um, I just got to keep working this position. Now, I can reverse, I can side scrape, not reverse side scrape, I can side scrape against the 3105 because I got uh, 35mm spam and he has a 105mm caliber gun. Still got to be careful. Man, I haven't played World of Tanks uh, for a few days and I have to admit, like, picking up a mouse and a keyboard after I've just been slamming it with a PlayStation controller, it does feel a little bit weird. Okay, that's so weird. I wasn't spotted and then I was spotted. This is really weird view range mechanics on this map. I'm trading with a 13105, which when you think about it, is not really that good of an idea. Because he's got 105, uh, so he's got 390 alpha damage, and I've only got 360, which isn't very cool. This 5A is aiming at me, expecting me to come around, so I don't really want to feed him there. Uh, A100 is being ambitious. Okay, well, you know what? I can't even be mad about that. And the E100 actually manages to tag me from above, so... Well, at least I just watched a spectacle... I know that there's probably an E3 sitting here waiting me for to, for me to go around this corner. So this is just this is just horrendous. I told you this game would be horrendous. I knew it would be as soon as I saw that our team didn't take the hill, and that's really what happens on mines. Luckily, I spot this E3 out. Maybe I can shoot his building down. I am just screwed. I think is the the word that we're looking for here. Maybe I can catch this E3 as he comes around the corner a little bit more. Mines, 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 mines. This is what happens when one of your players decides to not commit in the fastest medium tank in the game. Although, to be fair, they did have fast medium tanks and they also had an autoloader. I can't really be too mad at the um, the CS63 on my team, even though he undoubtedly did go pretty much doom us to a horrible battle. It would have just been so much nicer if we had uh, just died earlier, honestly. But maybe I can still try and provide some damage in here bit risky. Get some shots and I die to an E100 from above. That was my only chance. I was about to get flanked. GG well played to the enemy team. It's a horrible result for an SDV1, but it is mines when I got, I guess, the inferior spawn and my CS63 didn't want to commit. So that's life. You basically have to commit to the hill on mines. That's really your only option. And my CS63 might as well have committed. All right, well, that game didn't go according to plan. Why don't we play the second best win ratio, medium tank? And for some unknown reason, it's the Chi Ri. What? Are you actually kidding me? The Chi Ri? The tier 7 Japanese medium tank? Uh, I really wish it wasn't, but you know what? I'm a man of my word. I'm going to have to play it anyway Uh, without a very good crew, apparently. So, the Chi Ri. What is special about this tank? Well, this tank is special because it's, I think it's probably the only tier 7 medium tank that I can think of that gets an autoloader. I can think of like tier 6s, you know, the Skoda, which is a fabulous tier 6 medium tank with a little pop, pop, pop autoloader. And this gun is very similar to that at tier 7. The only problem is, is that it's as, it's as big as a heavy tank or even bigger. So you've got to worry for, you've got to worry about that. I'm not sure if I really need coated optics on this map. I think I might just go with the durability device so that I can have the extra 100 hit points. Genuinely. Um, and then I can also have a gun rammer for a little bit of firepower. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. This tank isn't really the kind of tank that needs to have a gun rammer. Because obviously it's got an autoloader. Um, a three round autoloader. And I believe it's got like 130 damage for each of its shots. And it's got a one second intra-clip reload. Which means it can actually deliver 390 damage within two seconds. Which is very good for a tier 7 medium. But the problem is... Is that, uh, Mr. Chiri, um, it just, it's just so big and so weakly armored that doesn't really manage to catch anything anyway. I really can't believe this thing has got the second best win ratio. But then again, there aren't that many high tier Japanese tanks inside the game. But it looks like that's going to change because as far as I can remember, they're going to be a whole new 
tech tree of Japanese tanks coming in, in 2023, as we saw on the um, War Gaming's video. I can't remember whether they were tank destroyers or heavy tanks really off the top of my head right now. Um, obviously a little bit too much time off on Monday and Tuesday. But uh, you know what? If there's a new tech tree, put my name on it. I'm down for it. All right, so I'm going to get forwards. I'm a little bit worried about something like the IS-32 or, sorry, the IS-22 or the IS-3A. But you know what? You can't really worry too much about life constantly. Anything could happen at any given moment. So might as well enjoy. Talk about enjoying. This Scorpion G seems to be aiming at us. But are we going to take our chance against him? I think we are. Well, this autoloader didn't exactly really feel very cool there, did it? I should have really caught that Scorpion G. Um, is this Type 58 going to come around the corner against me? Maybe. Got to be careful the Scorpion G doesn't hit me over the ridge, but also, you know, we've got to shoot things. And wow, that actually felt really good. I guess that's why the Chiri is cool. Kind of like an autoloading comet within that regard. Pretty scary, actually. And I'm quite happy that I decided to take the extra hit points here, so maybe I'll even have the durability to keep my tracks on. Alrighty then, Mr. IS-6, go find us some tanks. Because I'm meant to be the scout, but I don't think I am going to be the scout, if you know what I mean. Um, are those Type 58s in a platoon? They're not. Whoa, he actually came around the corner at the perfect time. Hot shot. Nice shot, Mr. Type 58. Nearly caught me out there. I don't want to let you catch me out, though. I don't want to let you catch me out, love. Got to worry about that scorpion. Maybe I can go get into this bush. I knocked down the tree in the correct way so that hopefully I can stay hidden. But again, this thing doesn't have the best of camo and I don't even think I'm using a camo crew. Kind of worried. Looks like that scorpion is managing to take some big chunks out of people. But this IS-6 is pushing. So if the IS-6 is pushing, I guess I have to push as well? Oh no, he's getting hit by the scorpion. There's the scorpion. I don't think I can get this guy. He's behind the rock. And the Type 58 just came around and killed my gunner. So nice shot there by the Type 58. Hit one shot in. Guess I go for a reload. Pretty awkward. We need our IS-3A to help. IS-3A needs to come forwards. These Type 58s are pretty crazy, to be honest with you. I'm getting out-traded by a lower tier medium. It's not making me very happy right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's one thing having an autoloader, and it's another thing about uh, being able to deliver it. Why is this IS-3A just sitting there? Come on, IS-3A. We're going to lose this game horribly unless you push, mate. We need you. You're the tier 8 heavy. You're just going to sit there and aim? They're not going to come around the corner for you, I don't think, mate. Okay, well, look. If he's there, I I shouldn't go up here. Because if I go up there, then they're not going to drive through in front of the IS-3A. Whereas at least if I kind of chill back here and... Oh, maybe. Well, there we go. We caught out one. Oh, I got ammo racks. Oh, this is not cool. At least our IS-3A is playing now. This is this is a disaster, really. Um, all right, maybe we can calm down because they are losing some hit points. Um, I just can't really see a way to make this thing work. I can't really get these three rounds off. I, I'm meant to be creating trades, but I do have bad alpha damage for these kind of situations unless I'm dumping in multiple rounds. I'm going to switch to gold and try and find some shells on this IS-3A. I feel like that's my only chance. I do have 186 millimeters of gold then. It's not great, but it's not terrible. This guy's got an autoloader that hits literally three times as hard as me. And he's only one tier higher. And he's got three rounds. Uh, <laughs> I just... I don't know how this thing even like is reasonably competitive, but apparently it is. Um, apparently it is. Apparently it has the second best win ratio of the Japanese mediums. So I've got to take my time here and try and make sure that I do well in the Chiri. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chill back and hope that the enemy teams suck. Very brave strategy. Very brave strategy. Chill back and hope that the enemy teams suck. But it's a strategy that has won many a battle in many sucking tanks. <laughs> oh, if I chill up here and the Type 58 comes around the corner, the Scorpion G is going to be able to get me. Dude, I had a shot there on the Type 58 and I didn't take it. The IS-6 is just randomly pinging, like, just randomly. Um, we really need our IS-3A to start to, uh, to take some, take some extra on this. Oh, I just can't keep trading like this. I'm trading one for one with lower tier tanks with higher alpha damage. Ay ay ay. There are some tier 7 medium tanks like the, uh, T-20, for example, that have 240 alpha damage. And even a Comet has more alpha damage than this. I feel like the Comet might have the gun depression to be able to pull off a ricochet. Alright, I'm not even going to reload. I'm just going to sit here and wait. These, honestly, these two tier 8s behind me are kind of depressing me, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting out-traded by these Type 58s is kind of nauseating right now. 
but okay. Let's just keep calm, and let's just soldier on. We've got to try and get some wins here. We had a bad game in the STB1, but we can do better. We can do better. Come on, Mr. Type 58, come make a mistake. Come on, very brave gameplay here for my tier 7 medium. I'm hoping that the tier 6 is... Oh gosh, the IS-3A actually pushed at the most random time. Um, I won't be able to get that Scorpion, that's for sure. Uh, this game's still close. I'd love to be able to get rid of them. Oh, well, Scorpion, I've got his behind there for a second. Not anymore. Oh, I've got his front now. There's one shot, at least. One shot, at least, he says. One shot, at least. I probably should have advanced with that tank. Oh, whoa, that was close. I'm actually tracked. Repair the track. Try and fall back. Get blocked by a dead turreted tank. And get hit by a Type 58 round the corner. Yo, I do not enjoy these Japanese tanks so far. The only vehicle that's truly enjoyable is the SDB-1. I was betrayed by mines. Oh my lord, this Chiri was not fun for that kind of a fight. It was just a combination of everything seemed to have a better gun than me, even though the whole highlight of the Chiri is meant to be the gun. Oh well, we soldier on. All right, okay, so we've played the best mediums, we've played the best heavy tanks. Why don't we just play the one that a lot of people actually want to see? And that is to see Uncle Quacky Baby play the Type 5 Heavy. So this is the Tier 10 Japanese heavy tank, and I can tell you, this thing tilts me very, very, very much. By the way, we got power carried in our Chi Re game, even though we did a thousand damage and picked up a couple of kills, finishing fifth. Ugh, horrible. We got carried by a T-103 called Electric Wyro. Well, GG to you, man. Killing half of the enemy team and 5,500 damage is very impressive. This Scorpion G was just a pain to be able to deal with. Honestly, that Chi Re, I, I, I kind of want to forget about that game. Not going to lie. It just felt so horrible to have that little autoloader, but no real room to be able to use it. Oh, YouTube. I think I'm just absolutely cursed today. Um, I think I'm absolutely cursed. I'm going to try my best, but all oh, this this map could be a blessing, but it could also be a disaster at the same time. Firstly, there's an RT on the enemy team that could manage to land AP rounds, and lots of RTs love to shoot AP rounds. One thing that I've learned about the Type 5 Heavy is that its armor is just not really very... Um, Forgive. Well, it's not very forgiving. If you make any kind of a mistake, expose any part of your armor, your opponents are going to punish you. Uh, the Type 5 Heavy does have a choice of two guns. There's a derp gun and then there's the 140mm gun on this tank. I actually prefer to use the 140. I think it's by far the more competitive gun. The derp gun was better when HE was still really a thing. And while you can make use of the armor piercing rounds on it with intuition, uh, I just found that it was just too ugly to be able to use. And I think that the better gold pen now on the 140 with 290 millimeters of gold pen really does just make this tank just so much more flexible with the 140 millimeter. So my build for a Type 5 Heavy is to put up the hit points, to put up the mobility with a turbo, and to make everything a little bit better with events. So I'm not using a gun rammer on this vehicle because I do really feel like the speciality of it, speciality of it is not the damage per minute. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll take that. Wow, I get to overmatch the uh, the flap there of the AMX M454. Well, that is a scary tank, though. Don't want to get hit by FV405. We actually have a tiny shot into his turret. I'm going to hold the reticle there, and I'm going to try and take a chance. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see if the FV405 appears with less hit points or not. Could be ugly, though. I'm not going to be poking up there anymore because the FV405 is going to clap me. So what I'm going to have to do is avoid this position because that is a possible one-shot. And I reckon that 54 might get one-shot if he starts to poke around there. And I'm instead going to have to fight over here. That FV405 just shot a T62A across the map and I don't want to be the next uh, victim. I've got to be careful though because, you know, if I poke up then Jagdpanzer could get me. And if we don't have any pressure from that position, well, it's going to be a little bit ugly within that regards. I'm not sure whether I should be happy that the Chieftain took the shell or sad that the Chieftain took a shell. He's kind of got to carry me in this situation. Oh, MXM454 doesn't have the top gun yet. It's down to a one-shot now. Um, hopefully my artillery will be able to deal with him. Uh, yeah, just really tricky. As soon as there is an FV405 in that position, there's not really too much we can do. I'm actually going to switch to an HE shell here, and I'm going to go across and prepare to try and help this E3. I've got a funny feeling he'll spot the FV405, and if he does, that means that we might be able to get a shot into him. So, let's try and prepare. Um, there's the Rhymatile Panzerwagen. 
kills the Remital Panzerwagen. and I'm going to keep my turret very much facing towards the FE405. So the FE405 must be close to the must be close to the. Uh... Gosh, there's another big hitting TD down there. That's not the FE405 though that he managed to spot. Um, that E3 is actually doing some serious work. I really like his play. I'm going to switch to armor pissing rounds here for the MXM454, trying to overmatch him again. And I'm going to switch back to HE because he's down to four hit points, and I can be able to finish him off with HE if we manage to spot him. So I'm just really worried about this FE405. I reckon he's going to clap that guy for all of his hit points. Uh, he's actually not, though. So does that mean that I'm going to get clapped? Should I try and go for an AP round here for the... Uh... There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Actually outspotting him. Oh, HE pen. Come on, baby. What happened to the reticle? Why did it just randomly go so far up there? That's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. Come on. Revenge shell, please. Revenge shell. Oh, great. 1,200 damage to the front of my turret purely because the reticle decided to go to the heavens. Oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't even look like we hit any of our blind shots on the FP405. What an absolute joke. Welcome to Type 5 Heavy. Type 5 Heavy joke. Man, we get penned by gold. At least I can put one shot in there. Oh my lord, I wish I hadn't... I wish I hadn't played today. I don't know, man. These Japanese tanks are completely cursed for me, but at least I'm managing to take down some wins. Alright, let's go after this FP405 anyway. It's, it's bad enough that I took all the damage. Looks like I just low rolled on him then because he did actually have substantially less hit points. So we'll have to take a look in the post game stats to see whether I managed to get him. Oh yeah, type 5 heavy. You're so fun. Such a fun tank. Real, real fun time. Very, very fun tank. Is he firing AP or not? We're going to find out soon enough, aren't we? We're going to find out. Oh yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, a little bit of fun that he wastes 8,000 credits on me. Okay, a little bit of uh, a little bit of a... A sympathy thing there. I guess the game was feeling a little bit sorry for me. Luckily, we bounce at 140. That leopard seems to be hightailing it out of here to go and try and get after the chieftain. Uh, the 140 was shooting me in the side. I'll probably still be spotted here, but I kind of want to just... Shall I just... Can I can I drive over this part of the bridge? I don't even know. Uh, let's just do this anyway. Come on. Come on, leopard. Okay, maybe not. Oh, arty party. Arty party maybe for me? Now, of course, the Jaeger who takes him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I might have to just commit seppuku on the bridge. Can I regain my honor in time? Can I even regain my honor in time? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, will I have an opportunity to regain my honor by becoming a glorious Japanese... Am I even gonna... Am I too fat? Oh my gosh. I can't even destroy my tank correctly. Maybe this way? I might really too fat. Okay, okay, maybe I can make it. Maybe I can make it. Maybe I can make it. I... My tank is... You see this? You see how my tank is wiggling right now? That is my inner frustration right now, having to play live today. Why is it doing... Why are the Japanese tanks doing this to me? Okay? I just played... All of the other nations and all of the, the playing sessions went pretty well. And this one is just absolutely cursing me. And I don't even know what for. Why do I deserve this? Hopefully I did a little bit of blind damage. Well, okay, I got 3,000 combined. So I guess I did blind fire that FE405, but only for 653 with my HE, which are actually meant to do 770 on average. So that cost me 1,200 hit points. So thank you very much to, to you for that, Mr. Type 5 Heavy. Well, this has pretty much been about 30 minutes of QB suffering. Well, maybe if I throw in a premium tank into the mix, it's going to help. And there's only two high tier premium Japanese medium tanks in the game. And the one with the best win ratio is Heavy Tank number six, which was the first of the premium uh, tigers inside the game. And heavy tank number six is identical to Tiger 131. I'm going to go with vents, turbo, and a gun rammer. And we're going to go and try and take the fight to the enemy team in the best possible way. Although I don't really have too many hopes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> is it trying to really mess with me now? No, i got to play against tier eight tanks, including a BZ-176. Oh, should I just quit while I'm ahead? Well, apparently I tried to on the Time 5 Heavy and I couldn't even destroy my tank correctly. Okay. 
this is it. All mighty Japanese tanks. Bless me this once. As I sit underneath the, sec the Sakura tree and um, pray for forgiveness for playing Japanese tanks like a complete potato today. Alright, do we make our way down towards the south or do we make our way up towards the north? Both could be good. You know what, I think I, I probably stand more chance in the town than trying to race my way through the south. I don't have the best of view range right now on this vehicle. I think I probably could end up getting the field mod that increases my view range on this tank. Um, let's just go into the town and try and help out. And whoa, look, there's a new Chinese heavy. First one I've seen in the on the live server, it's the BZ-58. That's one's the tier seven, right? I'm gonna have to remember all of these names. We're playing against Maximus von Schnitzel on the enemy team, who is playing in their BZ-58 as well. Um, whereas I'm actually playing the, the German tank, Maximus von Schnitzel, so... Uh, are you jealous? Jealous? Well, to be fair, it's a German tank. Uh, the heavy tank number six, I believe, uh, Germany were actually sending some Tigers to Japan as, as for, so that they could kind of prototype their own tanks. And I'm not sure whether they actually managed to get there or not. I, I think that they never managed to get there. Not sure if they ended up um, on a ship, in a sub. I don't know. Could you put a Tiger tank in a sub? Maybe it was dissembled. I don't blame know. I'm sure that there are going to be some YouTube historians in the comments down below. So do check out the comments uh, for some fleshy details. And if you know about the, uh, the sending of German Tigers to Japan, then do let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to send a few shells to this IS, let me tell you. Okay, Auto-aiming. He was over a ridge. I shouldn't have auto-aimed there. I thought that there was a building in between myself and the IS. Doesn't look like that was actually the case. Do I really want to try and spot here, or shall I try and drop back? Oh, it's a real tough one. If I don't play, then I'm not going to do much. Let's change to a gold shell. We can't go through the side of the guy's turret. IS pokes his turret up over the ridge. I'm actually going to shoot an HE shell at that building just to get rid of it, because it's stopping me from getting the crossfire. But when I just did that, I ended up getting spotted, which probably isn't the result that I was looking for. I got a bad feeling that their heavy tanks are going to be able to crunch through the eastern flank. I don't really want to drive out in front of a CC-56. I don't really feel like that's going to be the best way to use my 1,080 hit points. The IS, is he going to get spotted over there? Again, there's blooming buildings in the way. Let's get rid of that building. But we've got so many buildings to be able to get through, and I don't have HE rounds. I don't take enough HE rounds on this tank. I should definitely take some more HE rounds. Did I just manage to shoot the door of that building? I, I think I did. I actually think I did a bit of a trick shot there and shot the, the door down. But at least maybe now I'm going to be able to shoot this IS. I've got like a pixel shot on his turret. I don't feel like I'm that lucky today. World of Tanks has already destroyed... My mental, my mental has been destroyed, boys and girls. Absolutely destroyed. Thank you, World of Tanks. It's always, always nice. This game's so funny. I can play it for 10 years, right? And then I go away for a few days, and I'm suddenly like, do I even remember how to play this game? Talk about remember how to play this game. I really wish I hadn't played this tank. <laughs> I should have just quit. Oh my goodness gracious. I ended up against... A BZ-176 who's managed to frag three tanks down the uh, the southeast, and now they're all going to be able to advance across. But at least maybe I can hightail it out of the town and maybe try and go provide some support fire. This vehicle won't be the worst of snipers. The only problem is, is that with the, the camp that my team are doing at the, the back of the east, which is quite valid, as soon as they manage to get here, uh, you're in a lot of trouble. So it's very alarming to me that that KV-1S is still alive. Because, yeah, if they were going to deal with these tanks, they would have already dealt with them before they started to close the distance. Well, at least I'm going to do some damage this game. God, I get to shoot that new... <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh, no. The most cursed video. Oh, it, it's just going from bad to worse right now. The cursed video of the quacky baby. Hey, I did some damage. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Is this T-46 going to come after me? Doesn't look like it. Heavy tank number six on the enemy team shuts down the T-46 there. He might start to um, venture up. I honestly don't know where I'm truly meant to go right now. I guess I could try and work these bushes. If I get spotted, I'm such a tall tank and I've got terrible armor. My hit points are just going to feed the enemy. Oh well, maybe I can still hold them back from here. Maybe the enemy team are greedy. 
That's uh, uh, great tactics, Quacky Baby. Thank you. I can't even pen that thing in the side of the turret. I'm going to have to shoot its weak point, in theory, on top when it exposes the side of its gun. Weirdness. Okay, maybe I can get a kill. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Japanese tiger sniping very boldly as far away from the front as possible. Will he get notice I'm here? I'm actually a little bit sneaky. Hidden in the bush. Crouching tiger. Hidden dragon. Yeah. Literally, I am a crouching tiger right now. Not really sure it'd be fair to call this thing a hidden dragon, though, at the back of the map right now. I think it's more of a... At least I, I get another frag. Great, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? Whatever. Put a fork in me, YouTube. I'm done. If I get a couple of kills in this tank uh, with the kind of situations that I've ended up in this vehicle. Yeah, yeah I thought... You, how funny is how it changed, okay? We had... I'm never going to be able to shoot that BZ-176. He's just going to do 800 damage to me. He's just going to do 800 damage to me. That's all that's going to happen is I'm just going to feed a BZ-176 from this scenario. So I'm going to have to try and go into the town over here and try and create a bit of a crossfire. I can't believe we started off with me saying, oh, this is going to be a good day. <laughs> when I got a one shot at the beginning of the game. Oh, beginning of the video. And it suddenly transitions now into just immense inner sadness. As I'm probably going to join the many ranks of players who have had a lot of fun uh, getting destroyed by BZ-176s, right? The latter part of the battle. Oh my lord, I've even got a jammed turret. Oh, oh, just, oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. I, yo, oh, yo, yo, Alt F4, Alt F4, we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, those were apparently the best Japanese tanks inside the game. Uh, okay. Um, it's such a shame. I was hoping I was going to get through an entire playing series without actually having um, a session which made me want to not play World of Tanks ever again. But I'm sure a lot of you have probably actually appreciated that uh, we do end up having runs of games where everything just goes to an absolute nightmare. Ew, that STB1 game, that was the tough one on mines. Nothing we could really do there. Type 5 heavy game, getting shot in the side and a bit of a custom. And then uh, and then a game where basically they have a 5100 who has like the best game I think I've seen a 5100 actually have. And they have a reasonably good player playing a completely overpowered heavy tank. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was a disaster for me. But those were the best Japanese tanks inside the game. Um, if I look at the Japanese tech tree, what would I actually recommend out of them? STB1, STB1, STB1. This one's actually great, and um, recently I've been doing very well in my STB1, and I thoroughly recommend this tank. It's a bit of an animal. But apart from that, I really wouldn't recommend any Japanese tanks. That's how sad this tech tree is. I, I, I really wouldn't recommend any of them. You can do well in some of them along the way, but they're all just... So, so nothing. They, they really are nothing. With the Type 5 Heavy, it's basically just a, a silly mouse. You might as well play a mouse. It's a lot more fun and it's a lot more competitive. And it's a lot less frustrating to play. And all of the mid to the high tier Japanese mediums, they're all right. But again, they're, they're nothing really to write home about. They just don't have any redeeming factors. But the SDB1, on the other hand, this is a tank that you want to be able to get yourself. Because it's actually one of the more competitive mediums in the game. It's also really good for competitive game modes on Ridgelines as well. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was it for today. Really hope you enjoyed this absolute horror show on YouTube. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know what your favorite Japanese tanks are. And what do you think the new Japanese heavies and tank destroyers will be all about? And do you think they'll be better than the ones that we just played? And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.